Google Internet, Green Goggle Man here with another episode of Comedy Group 101. This week, improv comedy. It's a busy time for the stuntmen. We just found out that we're on WGN Radio next week, and then on Thursday, Sketchfest. So I should have some really awesome footage from the festival in the coming weeks. But for today, I thought we'd focus on improv. So I'm going to show you highlights from a long-form improv set that we recently did. Basically, we asked the audience for the title for a mythical movie. In this case, it was Death Weasel. And then we create an improvised action movie on the spot. I'm going to show you one of the mantras of Second City, which is, there are no mistakes. In fact, there's a big poster on the wall at Second City that has Tina Fey's rules of improv. And the very last rule is, there are no mistakes. So what does that mean? It means that there are no wrong answers. So if someone says or does something that you didn't expect in a scene that surprises you, that's not a mistake. It's a gift. Play with that moment. Collaborate with your partners. And suddenly you've created something that neither one of you brought into this moment. And that's where you're really improvising. So you say yes to things instead of no, that's a mistake. If you do that in your improv, you're going to find that your sets are more playful and they're more enjoyable to perform and to watch. So I'm going to show you highlights of moments that on the surface might seem like mistakes, but show you how we turn them around and create these playful moments out of them. Please enjoy Death Weasel. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, now for episode four of Death Weasel. <laughs> <laughs> When we last left our hero, Steve Vermin, he was hunting down the last of the Death Weasels, creatures that had been brought up from the Amazon by the evil and cruel Dr. Hypertension. He was going to unleash them upon the populace to destroy all young people, old people, middle-aged people, but people slightly in between that range. They're cool, because he's in that range. He had captured him, Steve Deep in the heart of his Amazonian vermin lab, no. and was prepared to leash a horde of screaming no. lemurs onto him at any moment. Will Steve be able to survive, or will he truly meet his end on this tonight's episode of Death Weasel? With that head, that head, that head was free. Friends and apparently my uh, I'm turkeys. Your, your turkey side? My turkey side. <laughs> the turkey lords are here. I do not trust that turkey. I, hey. The turkeys and lemurs have long had a blood feud. We will hope they can last throughout the night. But you will not last throughout the night. For I have a clock. This clock here. That one on the giant wall that's clicking. See how it clicks? So elaborate. It is very elaborate. I actually took me a while. I had to like, I got a pen. The clock is now going in the correct direction. It was going on the southern hemisphere time. And now it's correct. Yes, water also flows the wrong way down the same Yes, it does. But I read a little craftsman book and I figured out how to plug in the thing and now the wire goes. So when that clock hits, um, hits. Oh, oh one-ish. <laughs> at some point, I'm not exactly sure what time, but it's close. Oh, it's close. Okay. This gate will open, and hordes of believers will run, and they're very hungry, and they're gonna eat the first thing they see. Don't let it be the first thing they see. Hello, everyone. Welcome to the... 75th Annual Lima Conference. <laughs> Glad you're all here. I have uh, several interesting pamphlets. You probably read them all. They're in color. I printed them in color. I hope you all got them in color. It was a black and white printer and it broke. And then I was like, damn it, half of them were in black and white. You, most of it is in color. Please look at the color. Get the point, hypertension. We're busy people. Us <laughs> young, old, and middle-aged folks. <laughs> <laughs> so be it, scientist soon to be deadman. <laughs> I really need to change my name to something less ominous. You should, but you may not have the chance. Look, I have a demonstration I'd like to present. very ominous. Let's just throw that out there. What? I just have a. have an ominous. ominous. ominous? I have an ominous way of speaking. <laughs> And 
it is onomatopoeic. Yeah. It's weird that way. So what was the onomatopoeia? Um, um, like, um, like, 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 well, I, you know, Boo! Weaver, get him! Weaver, Weaver, and more Weaver. Kill everyone in the conference except for the middle of the people in this particular branch. <laughs> That's my ominous. <laughs> Destroy them all! <laughs> uh, Hold it right there! Oh, uh, Steve? Steve Vermin, is that you? Oh my God, Chad! Chad Mouse Mouse! Yes! <laughs> oh my god! Oh, god, the firm is you, Chad! I thought you were dead for sure! Well, I almost was. There was these lemurs, and they were very voracious. It was horrible. Oh, thank god you're alive. Yes, because there's more lemurs down there right now. Of course! Killing all the lemurs! The guys in the mid-40 range seem to be perfectly fine for some reason. Oh, no, no. <laughs> Unfortunately, first we have to deal with all of these <laughs> lemurs. <laughs> it. I'll lower you down with this grapple hook and belay. That sounds uh, like the perfect idea. It does, yes. Don't okay, think about it. Here we go. Alright. On belay. Alright, uh, belay on. Uh, yeah. uh, 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 my lemurs have been working perfectly. So many dead corpses in the audience of once such vital scientists and lemurologists. <laughs> Soon, I will be the only one who can control voracious lemurs. Boo! Hypertension! Boo! Hypertension, you look tired. You should sit down here. I'm a regular stagehand. <laughs> <laughs> With both nasal drip, apparently. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> I'll just sit in this chair. I have no reason to question why a nice chair would be good. You know, I am hypertensive. It is actually not just my name. It is something I actually... Ah, de, ah, de. <laughs>
something far more ominous. Uh, <laughs> right. I'm pretty sure that's right. I'm yeah. pretty sure that's the right word. Yeah. Uh, uh, ch -ch -ch -ch. Uh, uh, chain, 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 chain. Uh, no! Uh, daggers. Daggering the uh, foot to floor. Ah, oh, no, put it, not no, put it, no, no, put it no, there. No, put it there. No, put it there. No, no, put it there. No, no, Miller. Ah, uh, 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 you're good, <laughs> Corporal. You're <laughs> good. <laughs> you're good. <laughs> Since I've now got a giant vat of weasel blood, I'm going to not weasel blood. I'm just going to dip this crank, and as soon as that clock. Weasel. Hope you enjoyed it. For the last clip today, I'm going to show you a walkthrough of the brand new training center in Second City. Just opened up last week. They still got sawhorses out there and construction equipment, but it looks really, really, really cool. And I'm really looking forward to playing there in the coming weeks. So take it away. If you like what you saw, please subscribe, like, comment, share, all those wonderful things. This is Green Goggle Man saying, Goggle Powers! Activate!